I'm very, very, very happy that you are here on this very exclusive interview for the um, Retro Summer Festival 2022. And uh, I actually think that we don't really have to introduce you because you are one of the most famous hip hop dance act in Europe from the early 90s. And uh, you had so much amazing tracks back in the days. And uh, I remember that one of the one of the two highlights on your tracks, it was like uh, So Strung Out, which was a massive hit all over the Europe and time is taken away. Right. So if you move back in the time when both of this track just boomed in in Europe, how this affected to your career and how changed your life, these two tracks? Well, first of all, thanks for having me. It's always a, a honor to be uh, classified as one of the greatest. Uh, I, 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 I accept that humbly. There, there's so many uh, artists out there that uh, deserves the same credit. As as for the uh, the tracks that were very big, they're 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 all they're all a part of my life. What I try to put in my songs is is, is a um, It's connected with everyday life, and uh, it's what all of us, uh, whether you have good times or bad times, they are meant to touch and portray each and every one of us uh, as as we go through everyday life. So how it's touched me would be the same as how it touched each and every fan, because we, we all go through the same thing. So that's the way I see it. Okay, that's... That's nice to know. It's actually been crazy that you are like 27 years on the scene and that is such a long time. And basically, uh, even today, because uh, nowadays the artists are like, uh, have a, a snap second on the stage and they are almost disappearing, uh, most of them. And uh, I, I really respect you for doing this for like 27 years. How do you have the energy still to go on the stage and, and perform and, and do all of this, this music thing? The love. The love of the music, the love of the performing fans actually keeps me going. They, they give me a lot of love when I'm out there. And, uh, you know, I, I, I can't wait to get out to embrace that love and give it back. You know, it's, it's, it's very important. Uh, and you, you have to love and enjoy what you do. It's more to it than just money. There, there, is, there is a reason why each and every artist is out there, you know, Sometimes you, know, you have to look at it as a relationship. You know, sometimes you, you, you find a person that's there for a season. Everything is seasonal. You know, it could be for a long term, it could be for a short term. But uh, you make the best out of it for however long it lasts. And uh, uh, you will be remembered as that as, as long as you uh, come, come across in a positive way and, and fans love you for that yeah that's that's a great answer i i really love it since you perform both in europe and in the states how would you describe the two fans because there is a difference what's this your point about it cultural di difference the love is the same but there's a cultural difference i mean the, the way that you know the way that your upbringing as a child in, in each and every home so you you learn to celebrate differently that's all it is i enjoy over to Europe oh man it's it's nothing like no other I mean I say again the love is it is here in America however the love that I receive in, in Europe is of, of, of another style if you will I, I can't wait every time I'm contacted to perform I I can't wait it's the date is too long away <laughs> Yeah, that's true. My another question would be, uh, since you are doing this for 27 years and you are one of the most important acting in dance and hip hop music in Europe, if you actually uh, have to describe the modern music, both the hip hop and the dance music, how would you describe it compared to the old generation like the 90s and the early 2000s? There is a, a big difference in my eye the way I understand it and, and look at it. The music today doesn't explain the love and, and care for one another as it did back in the 90s. And it's and it's it's no one's fault. It's just society in general that creates this style, so to speak. The younger generation that, that we look at today doesn't have the same upbringing as we did in the earlier days. So they're singing and 
rapping about some of the, there are some similarities in some tracks, but the majority of, of the tracks that we hear today are based on what they're experiencing today versus what we experienced back in the 90s and 80s. Yeah, I, I totally agree with you. When I listen to all of this old school uh, rap music and I have to compare it to the modern versions, the, the old school, it has so much love and, and it has story, you know? That's, that's why I love to listen to all of the old school ones. And even if it sounds uh, a bit old compared to the modern ones, still it has more love and energy and, and message. That is what I personally miss from the new records. That's crazy. Right. You know, the, the, what really makes me happy is when I'm out there on stage and I see so many younger people uh, enjoying the music that, you know, from back in the day. That's a great, that's a great feeling to know that the music that was made back in the day is still living today. And, and, uh, and they're able to, those who are actually learning and listening to what was made back in the day, continue to use it and, and, and make great music off of it. Yeah, that's true. I, I still love more, as I said, the classic uh, rap and, and some classic music. It sounds way better, like the message and everything. It's, <laughs> it has yeah. more soul. And when I listen to it, I feel like, oh my God, that's that's actually, it's it's so much touching. Like the, the new music, it's all about like fame and money and stuff like that. But the old school ones is all about stories. And that's exactly. really, really touching and that's really, really lovely. So, and I, I would like to bring some of that back if I have it, if I can start to uh, write again and, 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 and get back in the groove. We are in the midst of creating a new album that will, I will try to implement some of the, the new flavor, but I have to bring in that old flavor because that old flavor is the beginning. So you have to, you, you know, you have to show respect to the old flavor. Wow, that's true. And I can't wait to listen to it. And I'm, I'm really sure that if you try to bring the old sound and, you know, the memories and all of this stuff into uh, this new style and this new music it can be really really amazing and i i really love it especially in in nowadays when people try to inspire themselves from the old music and it's such an amazing thing so as i mentioned you had two really really famous tracks and uh, have you tried to write a follow-up to so strong out and time is ticking now and if yes which tracks are i have not uh tried to do a follow-up because it's like a movie you know, sometimes, you know, doing a follow up doesn't always compare to the first track or the first movie. You know, you, you come out, you come out of the theater and you're like, man, I like the first one better, you know. So it's kind of hard to top, you know, your, 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 your first product or your first project. But the love and the reaction that I get from those tracks helps me carry on to the next track and what I need to do and what I need to put into that next track. So there will be some flavor from the old track to new. So you'll be able to hear some, some, some of the old stuff that uh, even some of the lyrics added in to, to the new track. So uh, let's move a little bit forward. And um, you've been many times in Romania, uh, if I'm not mistaken. How do you describe the Romanian fans? I can't. They are so great. <laughs> I cannot describe the love that that Romanian people give me every time again when when, when I get a, a invitation to come there, I always reminisce about the love that was given to me throughout the shows that throughout the previous shows. They are grateful that I am able to come over to and party with them. There's really no no okay right now is an understatement to describe just how good. The Romanian people are in how much they show me love when I come there. I just can't, I can't describe it. I always want to come there. Well, wow, that's, that's really nice to hear. And I can't wait to see you again live. I remember then uh, a couple of years ago when you was here in the radio and you did a show that was a massive, massive show and everybody was <laughs> like super, super excited and happy. And uh, the after party, that was absolutely blasting. So that you really killed it up. This is another great question. Do you have any favorite uh, food or place in Romania which you really love it? Actually, no. I don't have I don't have a favorite of anything. When I come to Romania, 
I am just totally open about whatever they have to offer me. I believe it was year before last and um, there was a restaurant inside of a mall that I went to and um, I couldn't eat. <laughs> I was not able to eat in peace because of People would come up and speak to me and, you know, and I had no problem with that because wherever I go, not only Romania, but wherever, wherever I go, I love to interact with the people because without them, I would not be there. My number one priority is to interact with people and I love to go out. I don't just stay in the hotel. If I have the time, I love to go out and see who has to offer in Romania has a lot to offer. I remember the first time I came to Romania, I thought that I was Michael Jackson. It was an open air festival and I'll never forget it. It was my birthday and they came out on stage, six layer cake and fireworks. Uh, it was just nothing that no, like no other. I just, I, and I never forgot that. It's been years ago, but I never forgot that. And I, and I still speak about it today. Yeah, because your music was a, a very, very important most of the people in the, the 90s and it was a, a founding for the for the dance music and the hip hop music in the in the modern era and i think if we actually ask someone from the 90s or uh, from the early 2000s they, they really know your tracks and there is so many remixes i, I hear uh, sometimes on, on uh, youtube but it's your music is probably one of the most important and fundamental for the for the dance and hip hop music in europe that's crazy i actually have a, another question to you since we talked about this live shows and stuff do you have any very funny moment what you can uh, share with us and when it happened i have a lot of funny moments there were uh three women that stormed the stage naked they had no clothes on and of course uh I was attacked. It happened so fast that, of course, security, the women acted before security could act. And by the time they got to me, the security got to me, the women had me pinned down and they were trying to perform uh, sexual acts right there in front of thousands of people. I don't even know how they got on stage, but they stormed it and they caught me from behind. Next thing you know, I'm on the ground. It was maybe five or ten seconds you know the security was on it you know but it was uh you knew what they were trying to do uh so that's one of my that's one of my real crazy episodes so and i'm a big man you know but they caught me off guard and they got me down real fast so but and it was in the middle of the show it wasn't at the end or the beginning so i had to create i had to finish the show with you know like woman if you will you know so it wasn't uh the most pleasant thing but it's something i'll never forget as well but again it's it's all love you know it's it's love and, and i took it as that because hey i'm there to perform I'm, i'm i'm there to give love and they gave it to me back apparently they wanted to give it to me a little bit more than than, than the average person But uh, at the end of the day, it's all love. Well, that's uh, probably one of the most craziest story I've heard, and it's and uh, you know it's that's funny because a lot of time artists, has, <clears throat> excuse me, has a lot of very funny stories, um, and I always love to sit down and hear all of the stories every single time. It's, it's so crazy, so crazy. I have some 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 crazier ones, but that's not for this episode. <laughs> so. Uh, We have to expect new music from you. If yes, when this will happen? Yes. That, I mean, you know, you have the pandemic going on and um, so a lot of traveling restrictions and so it's, it's kind of hard to flow back and forth to Europe, you know, to uh, hit the studio and And, and, and so we're trying to come up with a with, with a more easier solution. Maybe they send me the tracks and, and I, I find a studio here or, you know, I do some recordings and send it back and forth. You know, just something that will make things a little bit more easier to maneuver within this pandemic. However, it goes the way that we planned for it to go. I would say of this year to the end, 
it's for out as far as an album for a single maybe a little sooner it's kind of hard to put a date on those things but uh time frame wise maybe a little sooner my producer is is it giving me some some really nice alternatives and choices to make so it's going to be nice i can't wait to hear that i always always open it to hear your music because it's very inspirational since you just said that the pandemic just completely disturbed all the music scene how has affected you and your career when the pandemic hit how has it affected me it's been hard for a lot of people we all have suffered in some kind of way family losing family members uh, friends loved ones i've lost a couple people in pandemic or or some some kind of uh violent crime type way it has affected me in that way and i i also caught covid uh two times before the vaccine and after the vaccine now if i may say so the vaccine for me for me did exactly what it was supposed to do it kept me out of the hospital and it kept me alive and i don't want to get political but for me it did what it was supposed to do and if i may i think i think a lot of people should should consider those who have an issue with that should should weigh their options and consider what's more important whether to get the shot or not that aside it has but it has affected me uh economically social wise uh you just you just but you have to stay strong you have to remain strong and and know that there are people out there that share the same uh ups and downs as you do and i have great people around me i have a great music team you know that we keep close contact with each other i have great friends in my in my area that uh We have a small circle. We don't go all have uh big parties and stuff that's not necessary, but that's how it has affected me. Well, I really hope that all of this pandemic and everything is will be gone as soon as possible because it's it was such a negative impact to the artist scene and uh yeah, I really hope that we can see more concert and more live shows with you because that's actually is always crazy to see you live yes. so the final finally i would like to ask you what's your message to the people the message to the people is stay positive positivity is the number one factor in in in, in your life you don't want to you know recognize your your surroundings and you know hang out with positive people because you become positive when you hang around those type those type of people because you 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 receive nothing but encouragement and I can wholeheartedly give that message because that's what I do. I don't hang around negative people. It's not something that I do because negativity what does that do? It brings you down. It, it makes you do things that that uh pretty much not in your lifestyle. I think that's the number one message. Stay positive. That's actually a really cool one. I always love to to hear people with positive mindset. That's the most most important in these days. I can't wait to see you on Retro Summer Festival and I hope that you will be even more times in Romania so we can see you even more. And uh if you have any message to the people who comes to the festival. Message to the people. It's Rob Money aka C block. I want to see you there with your hands in the air, wave them like you just don't care because it's going to be something that you don't see every day. So make sure you be there, be square. Thank you for your interview. That was that was amazing. When I love to sit down with you and and hear all the stories cuz you have so much amazing stories and love to talk with you and I can't wait to see you live. Thank you. Thank you. And to my Romanian people, cheers. Ha <laughs> ha.